Here we go. Let's, Let's get, get ready. My thing. <laughs> Let's get ready to crumble! Week seven. And we're really going all out this week. We're all matchy matchy. Look at that. Look at that. I'm prepared. I didn't even, I didn't even plan this one. First up this week, we have the chocolate caramel, a rich chocolate cookie with milk chocolate chips and smothered in sweet caramel then topped with a caramel piece and a dash of sea salt. I don't see any sea salt on it. Well, maybe a little bit right there. Yeah, right there, it's hard to see on the camera. They really do mean a dash. Yeah. <laughs> Next up is the strawberry ice cream bar, a strawberry and vanilla cookie layered with whipped vanilla buttercream and a sprinkle, a sweet sprinkle of vanilla strawberry this is a very streusel. hard cookie. It's big too. Beautiful. Then, I'm really excited about this one, banana bread. A fluffy banana cookie with flavors of brown sugar and vanilla, topped with a cream cheese glaze and brown sugar streusel. They're really going out with the streusel this week. Oh, wow, that's the first time that's happened. And then we have the monster. All the flavors you could ask for, peanut butter, M&M candies, semi-sweet chocolate chunks, brown sugar, and oatmeal all rolled into one. It was also a mint brownie this week that we didn't pick up, but I'll read off the description for you. For those who love brownies and a, and a minty zing topped with chocolate ganache. Nope. I do love mint chocolate chip ice cream. That's like my favorite, but we don't really like their chocolate. And if we're gonna have a chocolate cookie, Better it be paired with caramel than mint. Exactly. Now we get to eat them. It's just a monster. Peanut butter and M&M. &M. Peanut butter, M&M, &M, chocolate chips, and oatmeal. Sounds good to me. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like that one. I feel like I can feel the oats, which I'm not really a fan of. Do you remember I made those oatmeal cookies before? Mm-hmm. Homemade oatmeal cookies, grind up the oats, and that's pretty good. Yeah, I like oatmeal cookies, but I don't like big chunks of oat in the mm. cookie. It I'm takes liking a, this one. For me, that takes away from it. I like the chocolate chips, I like the peanut butter, and I like the M&Ms, but I, I, would, I would leave out the oat if I were them. Hmm. Or maybe just less of it. Or none of it. Or just ground it up better. Yeah. Ground it up instead of having big chunks of it. But other than the oats, uh, I would say it's pretty good. The peanut butter has a good taste. The M&M's obviously taste good. I'm going to give that a solid three and a half. That's pretty good. Like next banana. Is that what that is, banana? Yes. And what is this stuff on top? Mm. Was it brown sugar? Pretty sure it was brown sugar uh, yeah, streusel. Maybe. Ooh, that smells good. It smells mm -hmm. like sh cinnamon. Yeah, it doesn't really smell like banana. No, it's got a strong cinnamon. A little bit if you smell the cookie itself. Yeah. Very light though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I love banana bread, so. I just made banana bread last week. Yeah. Let's see if it's better than mine. Ooh. Mmm. Very banana flavor forward. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very sweet. Tastes like a, tastes like banana bread and a cinnamon roll had a baby. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Yeah, it tastes like a cinnamon roll and then cut up some bananas and put it on top. Mm -hmm. I really mm -hmm. like that one. Yeah, that's good. It's a good week so far. Probably four. Mm -hmm. mm. I like that. I think this is gonna be your favorite. Was this strawberry? This was the strawberry shortcake. Yeah, I imagine it's gonna probably taste a lot like that Pop Tart one we had that I loved. I mean, I like the ice cream, the strawberry shortcake ice creams like this. Those mm. are some of my favorites. So maybe you'll like it. Smell test. I don't smell like much. No, we neither did the banana bread. True. Let's see. 
Doesn't mm. taste like a pop tart. Mmm. I like that a lot. I haven't had one of those strawberry shortcake ice creams in a long time. Mm. But I don't really think it tastes like them. I don't like the cream as much. It's like tangy compared to the banana one. Mm -hmm. Is tangy the right word? I think these are what you're tasting as tart. Is it? Yeah, because I just had one. The little streusel pieces. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that tart feeling on my tongue. I like it. Gives it texture. It's okay. I can't really compare it to the ice cream bars. Cause it doesn't really, it doesn't really have the same flavor going on. Mm. And like you said, it doesn't taste like a pop tart like you thought it would. No. Kind of, it's kind of its own thing. It doesn't necessarily taste strawberry. No, it's just like sweet, sweet and mm. tart. It leaves a tart feeling on your tongue. I really like it though. I like it because. It's tart and sweet. Mm. It's a little, and you know, it gives a little bit of, a little bit of some layers to it. It's not just overly sweet like a lot of crumble cookies are. It's got a little something else in there, and it's got these little chewy, crunchy bits on top. The streusel, nice whipped icing, and it's a very dense cookie. It's kind of hard compared to most crumble cookies. Mm. I like it. Let me give that one a three, I think. Okay. Not as good as the other two, but not a bad cookie. Now, I'm not looking forward to this one. Their, their chocolate has never done us any justice. So, but it is smothered in caramel. Smothered in caramel. So, hopefully that counteracts the bitter chocolate and actually makes it pretty decent. Mm. Smell test? Smells like their chocolate. Yeah, that's all I smell. I don't even smell the caramel. Okay. Mm. It's full caramel. It's like you're eating a one of those soft Werther uh, caramels, those little candies. Mm-hmm. It's like you're eating that in a really soft brownie. It's like you put. It feels like you baked brownies and then put little Werther's soft caramels on top, and then they they melted, but now they've hardened again, and it all just wants to come off in a big loop in your mouth. Yeah, you take one bite of bite of it, and the caramel all holds on together, so it like rips the whole cookie in half because it all just wants to come like pull the pull it off. I mean, as soon as you get like over here, the caramel's not as thick, so mm -hmm. you get a bite from over there. You don't even taste the caramel. Yeah, your caramel's way thicker on your cookie. You want to buy that? Nah, I've had enough of <laughs> that. Their chocolate's not good. This one, I've had worse chocolate cookies from them. For some reason, this one isn't that. I'm not hating it like I've hated some of their chocolate cookies. Yeah, it's still not good though. It's not great. Give that one a one and a half. Yeah, I give that a one and a half. I give the monster a two because I don't like the crunchy oats. I give the banana bread a three. I think it's it's a solid cookie. I like banana bread and I don't really like um, cinnamon rolls, but I think it tastes like it. The it combines the best of each of them. Not that they're trying to make this a cinnamon roll, but it does taste like one. So I give it a three. And then the strawberry ice cream bar. I'm gonna give it a four. Dang. I really like it. I think it's good. It has layers to it. It has depth. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. Cold, crunchy. I just don't like, the, I'm not a fan of the tart for a cookie. I think the banana one was my favorite for this week. I think if you're gonna try one this week, either try the banana or the strawberry shortcake. Mm -hmm. Because honestly, even if this is kind of your thing, for four dollars, you know exactly what this is gonna taste like. You, I'm pretty sure Walmart, you can buy something like this at Walmart in the frozen cookie section. Yeah, like probably. Like Pillsbury probably makes something like this. So if you want something new for four dollars, the banana bread and the strawberry ice cream bar are 
you know, a different kind of thing. Would recommend. Gotta try it. So if you haven't seen last week's crumble cookie review, I'll put that video right there. So check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.